Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellas sent you get 18% off. We out. All right, Bob. Aram says that he down to do Tiafima Lopez and Devin Haney. Hopefully, I drop this video behind the other video. Um, Hopefully, I remember to put the who well, I did. Um, but a lot of people say, I do this many videos every day. And I'll tell you how. I do them all at once. If it's breaking news, I do that video, bam, right there. But when I get up in the morning, one of the first things I like to do is gather information. Hopefully, you guys send me some videos, some ideas. That happens a lot. I put them on the list. But really, when I first sit down here and do my videos, when I did them in my room, I want to at least knock out four videos right away. I want to knock out four videos right away. And that's what it is. I want to knock out four videos right away. And then, you know, you're done with those four, then two more pop up. And then, for the most part, that's the day. But uh, make sure you check out the Box News playlist. Share the video. And don't forget, man, support the channel. Thumbs up. Share the video. Best way to support the channel. But if you want to make a donation, Cash App, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description as well, too. Appreciate just for sharing the thumbs up. Uh, he, and I meant to put this in video. TFM Lopez reject the idea of fighting Josh Taylor in the UK. They're not getting that fight. Because him and his daddy talk too much. Anyway, they just talk, they talk shit about... Uh, they talk shit about Bob too much. And Bob is really, really sensitive. And he don't... Um, he don't uh he, he don't take shit. He don't take jokes with him. Let's see if I can find this this one. Here we go. T of Lopez can face the Haney Lopez winner. I mean Haney or Lenares winner. He's he said it says T O Fimo is a terrific fighter. Uh and he's has no, nothing but success. If he wins the fight with George Cambos and we uh get through the undefeated WBO super lightweight mandatory Jack Catterall fight. He might it might be a very attractive fight for Taylor to fight Tio. Aaron told Boxing Social. Quote Lopez said he won't have trouble making 135 for a couple more fights, but he would like to go to 140 face the winner of Taylor and Catterall realistically, because Catterall will give Tio another fight at 135, maybe against Lenares and Haney fight winner. Lenares is an excellent fighter. Haney could very well be an excellent fighter, but he has he's unproven. We'll have to see if Laney. Haney can handle an RS. That's a that'd be a big plus for him. Um, you know, that's what he said. And um, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. You know, Josh Taylor got to defend his belt one more time. We got a mandatory Jack Catterall. He can fight T.O. T.O. can fight Devin. You know, make some money, fight Taylor. But I think if that's the case, I think they let Crawford walk and Crawford roll over to wherever he go, Premier Boxing Champions, wherever else he go. Which I think that's the most logical place for him to go to get these fights. But um. But yeah, Haney and Lopez would be a spectacle. My thing is, when they say a fighter improving and he hasn't done nothing at this weight class or in his career, my whole perspective on that is just make the fight. It'll be an easier fight for the, for the guy that's saying that. I really never understood. Sorry, my neck curtain. I really never understood people saying that. You know, that just really mean, you know, in cold talk, that really mean that, um, that really mean that they think Haney would beat Lopez. That's what that means. You know, and Haney gloats about beating Lopez and sparring. He really glorifies sparring. But you got to understand, Lopez is not a fight night fighter. I and mean, he's not a sparring. He's not a gym fighter. You got some guys that look great in the gym. They get to the fight. They look pedestrian. You got some guys that look bad in the gym. Get in the fight, they look great. You got some guys that look great in the gym. Get to the fight, they look great. Devin Haney is a great gym fighter in a in an okay not a fight night fighter. He's not a bad fight night fighter, but some of the things you see in the gym, some of the sparring clips that you see, he looks way more aggressive for sparring. And maybe the bigger gloves, the headgear make him feel more comfortable. But Lopez is a terrible fight, uh, uh, engine fighter here. The, the little prospect, Jay Figueroa Nelson, or Jay Nelson Figueroa dropped him. You see the other kid dropped him who just had a four pro fight the other week. Here David Haney that and dominating him, but Lopez is a fight night fighter. And him and Haney would be a very interesting fight. 
He fight Haney, turn around and fight Josh Taylor if he can. And I heard T. from Lopez know what's gunning for Taylor. I mean Crawford too. He had the best resume in boxing, you know, in the last few years. And ultimately, I think the Devin fight, the only thing Devin really possessed that that we should scare Haney, I mean Harold scare Loma, Loma, Lo, Lopez, excuse me, is length. Is his length. Because he doesn't have experience. You know, but his length is his length is gonna be a problem. Footwork speed and Lopez might have to cut the ring up. He ain't fought nobody with the foot speed. He ain't fought nobody as slick as him. People wanna label Loma slick fighter. He has slick slick excuse me, slick abilities, but he's not he not nowhere near slick as Devin, but Look at Devin. Devin's a big kid. Devin is a big kid, man. 5'8", 71 inch arms. He definitely got a, a welterweight, um, a welterweight frame. What's the Mikolo Ultra Winner? What is that? Hold on. Let's see what that shit is. That's what they fighting this weekend. So it holds 12,000. Hold on, man. It holds 12,000. It's in the Manland Bay. Hold 12,000. That's what Pacquiao is to fight. I know it was never called the Mikolo Arena. That's what Pacquiao used to be fighting that a lot. But it holds 12,000. It opened in March 2nd, 1999, 22 years ago. It's fairly new. Uh, the current tenant is the Las Vegas Aces. Aces. WNBA team. That's at the Manland Bay. I was right next to Manland. I just didn't go over there. Um, so I'm at the Manland Bay. So if you're going to the fight, it's best to stay at the... Um, it's best to probably stay at the... Uh, Lexor Excalibur is where I stayed this past weekend. Um, New York, New York. MGM Grand's right there. All of it right there. But it's, start, it's starting to heat up in that in that bit, though. It's starting to heat up over there. So they got a train that go from, like, the uh, Excalibur to the Lexor. And it goes to uh, the Manly Bay and all that. So you go to Las Vegas. It wasn't hot when I went, but it, you can, you're doing all that walking. Sheesh. But um, you go to Las Vegas, man, it's good. It's a lot of walking, though. Definitely bring... Double the offense you're thinking about bringing. That is that should be the goal. Double the offense you're thinking about bringing. Because you're probably going to sweat a lot. Sorry, it was 94 when we left yesterday. Yep, so. But, yeah, I mean, those, you know, if you're going to the Devin Haney fight, those are the places that, you know, that's really in the area. I mean, New York, New York, New York, New York is right there, too. And if you got kids, you're going to bring New York. New York, New York is a great... It's a great area because you got the LA Kitty Cafe outside. They got like a Dave and Buster's. It's not Dave and Buster's, but they got the arcade and the roller coaster over there. Um, who got the most shit on they on they shit is the Excalibur. You got Krispy Kreme, Pop. They got everything in the Excalibur. Johnny Rockets and arcade in the basement. Buffets. It was closed though, but yeah, but yeah. But if you want to like be a little ways away from the fight, Flamingos are good. The Flamingo is a great area too. They got a lot of shit. They got a little, like a little mini zoo in there. Yeah, that's a, that's like another great place to stay at. But um, yeah, I wish Haney nothing but the best of the luck, honestly, man. I think he should dominate Linares. But um, yeah, man, him and Lopez, that'd be another huge fight for like this, the end of the summer or fall. And boxing on fire, bro. You gotta say, man, you get Haney, Fury three. Uh, I mean, Dev, I mean, a lot of Fury three. You think about going there, Earl Spence, Pacquiao. I mean, you get a lot of those two fights make the summer. Hot anyway, you know, y'all want to support me going to those fights. Make sure y'all send some money right around there, man. Um, talking to Tom, he was like, You better tell your fans to start supporting you. I mean, I see a lot of other YouTubers sitting here and they said, and people support them. So, so I'm not asking y'all to get money to put rims on my fucking car. <laughs> you know, if y'all want to still see me get these interviews and do the shit I was doing this weekend, support the channel, man. We're gonna be there. I got a free room already, you know. Support the dudes, not just me, support the dudes that go out there and spend their money, man, like Town and anybody else, you know, that go get that money. We we ain't had credentials, we just hustled this weekend, you know, especially catching calves and uh, 
the lifts and Ubers back to the hotel, that shit costs. You know, and answer the tough questions and, you know, you know, we're not sitting in the press room. We chasing these dudes down. You know, he going, he going to make sure I hit uh, town up, donate to him. He going to, um, the handy fight this week. He just left. He going right back to them over, over there. So we got some great fights going on, you know, but, um, Lopez and Haney be another great one. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All my social media links in the description. You can reach out anytime. You got a business question, require response, your video request. Or an advertising business on the channel. Links there. Facebook group link there as well too. You want to make a financial donation. Cash app, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. One time for the one time. Peace.